What's Gucci everyone? It's AJ here again, and I want to make a video about the new programming language that Apple just released called Swift. Shh, Swift, you know, like that Pokemon move, or that cool word, adjective. So what I'm going to do here, guys, is I'm going to try to take you through setting up a Swift program in Xcode. Now, at this time, you to program in Swift, you need the, the Xcode beta version. They may release it to the public at the time you're viewing this, but if they haven't, well, what you need to do is simply fig figure out how to get Xcode 6.1 beta or Xcode 6. And then once you open it, you want to click get started with the playground. And I'm going to save as my new playground and it already I already created one, but since it exists, I'm just going to do that. And then it's automatically going to give me this screen. Now, maybe you don't have the same colors as me. And a quick way to get to those colors is simply go to pre Xcode preferences and then fonts colors and you can select between all of these different nice types i like midnight dusk is a big favorite too but midnight because i'm dark or i just i like the dark against the the, the richness of the color difference with the dark colors so what I'm gonna do here is we're gonna go along a ride as we follow Apple's kind of little guide to Xcode, to the Swift programming language and what we can do. So as you can see right here, I have I have a variable, if you know JavaScript, that is exactly, you know, it, it's it, this is exact JavaScript, JavaScript syntax that says hello playground, uh, play off the hello world program. And if I want to run this program, as far as the only thing I've learned, this may be the new way to do it, is I click this plus right here. And if I click this plus, it will kind of tell me um, how the variables are changing or how they're looking. And also, if I want to print out to the console, one of the easiest methods as it shows here on page one, a Swift tour print line, hello world, I can simply print hello, have that print out right here again, and I'll say console output hello. So that's pretty cool and dandy. So now let's go over some basics here. So I declare a variable, I can declare a variable and in Swift, variables do not have specific types unless you give it a specific type. So for instance, I can set um, str here to a string and then I could set it equal here to a integer. And let's see, it's giving me an error. Oh, it is giving me error. So I've learned something new to here too. So what's happening is that I, it is caring about the type conversions, and if that you and if you do care about the type conversions, type conversions, you do need to implicitly convert them to another type, like it says right here. So as you can see here, I kind of did the same thing where I've got label and width, and if I want to set it to width label, I need to convert the um, number ninety four to a string ninety four. A string is a representation of characters and letters, or a way to kind of describe words and numbers are things you can do are numbers and with numbers you can do kind of fun numerical operations on them so let's go with the first page here so again we can declare values we notice that i can say var and then i can declare maybe a string or a num we're getting ahead of ourselves here and i can set a num equal to 12 which is pretty cool and then I can and I can also optionally have semicolons at the end of each statement just like in javascript or c well, in JavaScript and C, I need the semicolons, but I don't need them in this language. Also, I can declare constants with the let keyword, so I could say let v equal 123, and that's the example right here. And constants you can't change in your program. So let me try to change it here. And what error is it giving me? Cannot assign let value v so it's basically saying oh you're trying to change a constant even though i'm assigning it to the same thing so again that's pretty cool and so that's the easy way use let for a constant and var for a variable it's kind of interesting syntax i would prefer you know a little constant but hey you know apple's at least trying to go somewhere new so i like it so again i think this may be what we do is to wrap up this tutorial is that as you can see in this paragraph right here, if the initial value doesn't provide enough information or if there is no initial value, spe specify the type by writing it after the variable separated by a colon. So 
what I can do is I can do let v and then I can do a colon and then I can do an let's let's make this what it is it's an integer and we don't, eh, we don't care what type of in, integer it is so we're gonna just let it be an integer right here and we could also name it ints of different bytes so it has a different kind of maximum or minimums that's what the 32 64 and 8 mean and there we go so we've set a constant and explicitly made an integer and set it to 123 so we made that and tennis tutorial will do the experiment experiment right here which is create a constant with the explicit type of float and a value of four so to create a constant we do let const and then we can do float usually all con all types are capitalized so then i'm going to do a float so i'm going to do point 23 and i always like doing 23 because of michael jordan and so there you go so i have a constant that is a type float and i set it equal to 12.3 and I think that's where we'll end this tutorial here, guys. I hope you guys have a great day and have the best night of your lives. And this book that I'm looking at is free. You can just Google it. It's called the Swift Programming Language, but Google has released, I mean, Apple has released it for free. And you can easily look at it. But have the best day of your lives, guys. Remember that.